Well, hello there everyone, Ronald McDonald, better known as the Penis Clown here, and welcome to another shitty commentary. Now you might be wondering, Auto Magic Critic, why aren't you posting commentaries more often enough? Well, stress, lack of interest, all that sort of stuff. I'll promise every one of you greatly that I might be posting these videos more often, despite my lack of interest. Damn it, Otto. Stop saying that shit. You know you are not going to actually do it cause you're a lazy fuck. Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares about your stupid fucking opinion. Well, expect at least, um, five commentaries planned so far. Well, in an honor of what I consider to be the pinnacle of sentient creation, I guess, I decided to look at one video that I had been wanting to commentate on when the video first came out. Case and point, mind chop, and their list consisting of TV shows that should be fucking pulled by all nations around the world by the FCC. Okay, that's not the actual title of the video, but you get the hint. It's basically a bunch of shows some faggot working with the company thinks should be restrained, not for the controversial stuff that should be censored, but for the fact that said faggot doesn't like it, mostly for no more than one stupid fucking reason alone. Here, this mind shot YouTube channel claims to be educational but not really educational at all, if it's based on subjective opinion, which the video clearly shows. Although I am fully aware that not every one of mine shots videos are terrible, but that isn't saying much considering that most videos I've seen from them are really mediocre, as shit, just like most top 10 lists I've seen. And I am fully aware that not all videos from mine shot are cartoon community pandering nonsense like this one, wink wink, but it's still one of the worst, if not the worst mine shot video I've ever seen, and it's certainly in the top 5 worst videos I've ever seen from a top 10's channel. With that out of the way, let's begin the video. Number 10, The Flying Nun. Okay, what the actual hell? You're not even going to bother introducing yourself or set any rules for the list? Well gee, and you wonder why there are certain shows that don't actually need to be pulled from national television, spoiler alert. God, I hate it when top 10 channels do this, not even going to give the viewers an understanding of what the criteria is, instead just cut to the chase out of pure laziness and little to no care put in the video. I mean, at least Watch Mojo lets the viewers understand the criteria of their lists, and sets the rules of what the list should consist of. Given the infamy Watch Mojo has been facing, that's saying a lot. Have you ever looked at some of the shows on television today and thought to yourself, these show concepts are just plain dumb? Who the hell is coming up with these ideas? Not really, because I wouldn't give a shit if a show has an eerie concept, especially for the time The Flying Nun was distributed. I don't know about you guys, but the concept of a show doesn't always dim the quality of the show, since I believe that people can create a TV show of however concept they want. And yes, whether, if it's weird or not is subjective, but here's the thing you fail to understand mind chop, whether, if you like it or not, there is a little thing called innovation. And because innovation exists, somehow you decided to tackle only this show alone for a weird concept, because, I don't even know. Sometimes, an idea for a show concept works out, like Discovery Channel's survival show Naked and Afraid. But there is a limit. You say there's limits on how weird a show can get? Okay Mr. Know-It-All, enlighten us with your silly little rules that don't fucking exist in the Constitution. And that limit is ABC's The Flying Nun. You heard it here folks, The Flying Nun is the end of the line when it comes to how weird a show can get. It's funny, because there are weirder shows coming from the same decade in terms of concept-wise, but whatever. Speaking of which, if there are weirder shows from the 60s, why is it the show of all things that gets thrown under the bus? At first glance, you might think it's just a metaphor for this nun's faith or personality. It's literally about a nun that possesses the power of flight. Oh, just wait. It gets even weirder. The show is set in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where the coastal winds can get fairly high. The show claims that her ability to fly comes from the fact that she weighs less than 90 pounds, and that she wears a large headpiece called a cornet, so the wind just picks her up. While the show did have some success in certain markets, it's still one of the weirdest TV concepts, and for that reason alone, shouldn't have been aired. So wait, because the show has a concept about a weightless nun, which is the only reason you gave, it should be pulled from national television by government officials? Here, apparently, The Flying Nun was a show so weird it deserves to be restrained from television. I don't think such a thing exists, if officials had actual common sense, which Mind Chop clearly doesn't show in this video. Mind Chop, whoever made this video working with the channel, let me tell you something. It doesn't fucking work like that. When at one point did the fucking US constitutions say that shows with a bizarre concept should be restrained from public broadcast? Tell me, I would like to know. 
Yeah, I know that there are some limits in some cases, but why the fuck would you think the FCC would draw the line with the flying nun? If you think the show is too weird for your morally correct standards for television every producer needs to follow or else they will get their asses handed to the firing squad? Take a pick, because nowhere have I seen producers looking at shows like this and saying, Holy bajibbity Jesus, there's a show in public broadcast with a sort of eerie concept, fucking ban it. I mean, for fuck's sake man, we live in a first world country. Number 9. Angela Anaconda Speaking of pandering to cartoon justice warriors by including shows that has been beaten to death by them. This isn't the only time he included one of them. Oh no no no, we'll get to that later in this video. Spoiler alert. Have you ever looked back on something you thought was cool and fun back in the day and thought to yourself, why would I ever like this? Well, that's a pretty normal way to think back on the 2001 children's TV show, Angela Anaconda. Hey, dumbass, the show was distributed in 1999. Did none of you faggots who worked on this video actually got up and did your fucking research before making this video? How shameful. Also telling people to now hate something that they grew up with, how pleasant. Back in those days, this TV show was actually pretty popular among children. But looking back on it now, it's actually pretty cringy and odd to look at. As rather than proper animation, the show's directors opted to use cut out black and white photos of real models faces and superimpose them on top of computer generated images. Today, with all our fancy animation, this artistic style looks just plain ugly even scary and creepy at some points. Given that the title is called Top 10 Shows That Should Be Banned, apparently the shitty animation is the reason why the show should be banned, because comparing to modern day standards of animation and the animation of the show, it should be fucking banned overseas. Okay sir, I'm afraid your little cartoon should be eradicated from the fucking public, because your animation is nowhere near as good of what will animation have in store in the next 1000 years. Banned. You will be executed tomorrow from a firing squad. Even though it's a first world country, your shitty cartoon should be banned cause I don't like it. As a child, you might have enjoyed the show back in the 2000s, but now, you're probably wishing it simply never aired. Or at least to you, that is. Although I find the show to be shit, but I'm sorry to say this, but there are people out there that still find enjoyment from the show, whether you like it or not. You're not fucking holier than now, you don't assume everyone's stupid ass opinions are in every way similar to yours. It's even worse that you labeled your own channel as educational. Let's not forget that you are literally having the same viewpoints as every other bot who has covered the show in one point in their lives and bringing absolutely nothing new to the table. Seriously, all you did is bring up the animation not being as great as it is today. Number 8. Hole in the Wall Okay, is it really something that should be restrained worldwide? Unless, if they're going through fucking Nazi swastikas or ISIS flags, what's so sacrilegious about a game show where you go through card holes in a moving wall? Have you ever watched one of those crazy Japanese game shows and thought to yourself, we should totally run these on American television? In some occasions, I would totally agree. Can I? Uh, I don't know about you, but I certainly have not. Oh yes, we all should hate this show, because some dumbass working with this so-called educational YouTube channel doesn't like it. Educational my ass. At this point, mind chop, it's become very apparent that you pretty much don't give a shit about how education works, so you just make a video expressing your dumbass opinions in these shows, even though no one gives a shit about what you think, it's not even related to anything educational at all either. Imagine, if it's actually considered educational though. Okay class, shut the fuck up and turn your pages to page 69, as we will find out why some dumbass over the internet thinks the shows he doesn't like should be fucking restrained and be considered sacrilegious by a whole assortment of religious fundamentalist groups and the likes. The Fox thought it would be a good idea to host a new show called Hole in the Wall. Oh hey PewDiePie, since you're unfortunately more tolerable than mine, Chop, can you help me out with this stupid fucking video? No? Well then, have fun being on the front page of the official Wall Street Journal website. A concept very similar to the Japanese game show No Kabe. The show itself is self-descriptive. Contestants have to contort their bodies in order to fit through large and oddly shaped holes and moving walls. If you don't think that sounds exciting, most people would agree, because the show went kaput before they even finished airing the first season. Whether or not you don't like this show, you wouldn't agree that the show should be fucking restrained by a whole assortment of world governments, right? Quit putting words into our mouth, will you? Also, if you said that the show has been cancelled before they even finished the first season, what's the point of even having this show in the list where it's technically banned? You're going to see this a lot in this list. Most of these shows he added to the list are already cancelled, so there is pretty much no reason why you add anything on the list in the first place. 
Speaking of which, guess what's coming up next? Also, Pandy Cam Watermark. Older audiences didn't like it at all for obvious reasons, but for some reason Cartoon Network took over the show, targeted it towards younger audiences, and carried it on for four years. That was until they too realized it was a very odd idea for a show and had no use being aired. I've said it once and I'll say it again, as long as it's executed well, a bizarre concept doesn't always dim the quality of the show. At least not in America. Because, as we all know, somewhere in the Constitution says that, if a show has a bizarre concept, it should be banned by the United States government. I mean, what the hell is a free society? Number 5. Australia's Naughtiest Home Videos Sometimes, the reason as to how a show manages to pass through all the checkpoints on the way to being broadcast is a mystery. Sometimes these shows aren't caught until it's far too late. Like Australia's Naughtiest Home Videos, a show similar to the American version we're all familiar with, but unlike its American counterpart with the humorous family-friendly videos we're all used to, this show portrayed crude sexual content and racist humor. Reportedly, the CEO of the network that was broadcasting the show was out for dinner when he saw it on one of the restaurant's televisions. He saved the day by immediately telling them to get it off the air. Thankfully, the network obeyed his order and booed the show off air midway through its pilot episode, putting a rerun of a different show up in its place and blaming technical difficulties. Unfortunately, a good deal of people did manage to see the first half of that episode and might agree that it was too little, too late. Okay, what the hell is the point of adding the show to the list? You admitted yourself, you are fully aware that Australia's naughtiest home videos was taken off the air prior of airing, which means the fucking show was banned by the network, so there is no use of adding the show to the list. This is another example of you adding shows that are already fucking cancelled to the list, the list called top 10 shows that should have been banned, and this show doesn't fucking count, because the show is already fucking banned prior of airing, you dipshit. Also, the show was reared in 2008, just pointing that out. Number 4. Hail Honey I'm Home You can't be serious. Hey dumbass, the picture you used is not Hail Honey I'm Home at all. It's a completely different show called Hi, Honey I'm Home. How the fuck can you guys miss that? Did none of you fuckers look at this and say that you got the wrong image? I mean, this is a simple mistake that can be fixed in 3 seconds. But we don't care, as long as we have an assload of Sir Robert Ordens, who gives a shit of both quality. Now our audience is stupid, and they will pretty much eat up anything we make. Hey, then again, what should I expect from a clickbait top 10 list? But even then, this is low, even for a generic top 10s video. Also, did you really just say ale, honey I'm home? It's ale, not ale. I don't know why people keep messing it up. I don't care, if you're Canadian or Australian or whatnot, everyone should know that it's ale, not fucking ale. You sound fucking stupid, if you say that. Have you thought of a joke that was so hilarious but at the same time far too offensive to tell anyone? That only depends on your concern about the thought police taking you to jail for apparent date speech. Wink wink. Well, that about defines Hail Honey I'm Home. Except in this case, they decide to air it on television. Hail Honey I'm Home was a British sitcom that aired in 1990, and featured depictions of Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun living a normal life in modern Berlin, but they lived next door to a Jewish family named the Goldensteins. The story of the series revolved around Hitler failing to get along with his Jewish neighbors, and he soon begins to plot to have them killed. Of course, the entire show was quite racist in many ways. Why? Is it because it shows depictions of Hitler? Seriously, that's pretty much the only reason you gave. Yes, the rest of this is just what you'd expect, just regurgitating what other people had said about it. Just saying, oh, this is racist, oh my god. Number 3. Teen Titans Go Remember, when I said this isn't the only time Mind Chop added a cartoon beaten to death by Enderbox and Animation Nazis? I smelt it a fucking mile away. Of course, we had to add Teen Titans Go to the chopping block, hadn't we? At this point, it's extremely transparent that Mind Chat is basically targeting the lowest forms of life forms known as Enderbots. First it's Angelo Anaconda, now it's Teen Titans Go. Also, gotta love that epic music, making the show seem more malicious than most people would. Actually, fuck the most, some people would. If you've never watched Teen Titans as a child, you've probably heard about how awesome the Cartoon Network show was back in the day. Sadly, however, the quality of some of Cartoon Network's programming has severely diminished over the years. Okay, wise guy, let's look at how much lack of quality Cartoon Network's programming had in recent times. Ahem. Rick and Morty, Adventure Time, Samurai Jack, Regular Show, Steven Univo Wait. That show sucks. 
This has gotten so bad that they decided to recycle Teen Titans into Teen Titans Go, a childish, immature version of what once was a grimy and dark series that the whole family could enjoy. I don't even know if you actually even watched the show, because the first season was nothing but pointless filler. Yes, this will be relevant for one of my future commentaries. The first problem is the animation style, which went from a classic and mature style of animation to a childish, ugly alternative. Oh look guys, look at how fucking cheap this show is. Like holy fucking shit, this is 12 ounce mouse type of laziness, holy shit, it's so lazy. Like I said, most of the reasons this asshole gives are pretty much regurgitated from sources like IMDb, and most of the reasons are fucking outdated, as shit, because there are some episodes where they actually put effort into the animation. Besides, how is making a show cartoony a bad thing? It's a fucking spin-off series, so they can do whatever the fuck they want with the characters. Also, cartoons like Spongebob, Looney Tunes and The Low Wait, that show sucks, are also just as cartoony and childish as Teen Titans Go and they're regarded as animation gold. Okay, not the loud house, the show can go fuck itself, same with the fanbase. Which, looking back, was probably much cheaper to produce. For the most part, Teen Titans Go wasn't even a proper superhero show anymore, and featured silly and petty supervillains messing around in non-harmful ways as their only source of adversity. On top of that, the characters were stripped of any and all form of, well, character, and instead just felt bland and one-dimensional. If you want to make a childish, poorly animated show, go ahead, but don't spoil a classic and beloved TV show with poor writing and animation in the process. Once again, it's a fucking spin-off series, so they can do whatever the fuck they like with the characters. There you go, Enderbots. You got yourself your BuzzFeed. Congratulations, you fucking Spurgs. And this is where I end the video. Wow. This video was fucking awful. Jesus fucking Christ, where do I even begin with this? Let's start with the fact that this video is blatantly, blatantly meant to pander to animation fugs and enderbots who has a massive obsession against Teen Titans Go, especially when you added fucking Angelo Anaconda in your fucking list just to make sure Mr. Ender's Neanderthal fantards flock to your video. Angelo Anaconda rarely got that much recognition until Mr. Ender dug deep enough to find it so his vultures will flock to it and pick every last crumb of it. Also, you gave absolutely nothing new to the table when it comes to talking about the shows in the list. Most reasons you gave are either nothing new, or they're fucking outdated reasons. Also, most of the shows you picked are already cancelled so there is no reason to say they need to be banned, especially when you say the shows that are already banned need to be banned. Take for example, Australia's naughtiest home videos. Also, why the fuck do these shows need to be banned, especially Teen Titans Go? They didn't even break any laws, so what's the point of having them banned? Overall mind chop, this fucking video is absolute trash. Trash 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 trash. This video was soulless garbage meant to cash in on the animation community and other groups of people with a massive obsession against these shows, especially fucking middle-aged normal fags. And overall, an obvious clickbait video that has absolutely no effort or soul put into it whatsoever. Anyway, this is Auto Magic Critic, and have a great day. See you next time. Thank you.